Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 2691 in Candy Crush Saga, where we have 20 moves to clear out 111 layers of jelly. If you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. That in turn would help me out. So this is a special dedication to John, who let me know that the board has changed, and sometimes it's easy to dwell on those negative changes. And let's talk about those. The biggest negative change is actually not a negative, it's a neutral. We used to have about half as many jelly to remove. But it's just the number that's changed, it's not the actual amount. Let me explain. You see how this is double thick jelly and this is single thick jelly? King used to count these each as one, but now they count this as one and then this double thick jelly as two. So they've just changed how they number it and therefore it looks like things have doubled, but it's always been like this. The one big change is that we don't have mystery candy dispensers here now, but up here we have a striped candy dispenser. So I think that'll be our advantage and we've got five extra moves. I'm not saying this is going to be easy, but I think it might be easier than the original. Let's see what we can do. My idea is maybe to kind of go around this way, but also to hit this as much as I can, because this is super thick, and by the time I get around here, I might not have very many moves. Also, I'm only showing two colors on the board, but I think that we'll have at least three colors, and the reason is blue and green appear on the board in the candy mix before orange does in most cases. So if there's orange on the board, probably blue is going to show up too. And there it is, it's part of the candy mix. So let's take this out. Mm, I don't have any good moves because I can't hit this frosting and that's what I want to do. I want to get over to this dispenser as quickly as possible and look at that, the dispenser is active. It's generous, it gives us stripes right away. And I do love a stripe trapped combo. I'm thinking about instead of making this stripe, dropping this down. It's a little bit tricky because when we have a um, an, a level that is makes it fairly easy for us to get specials, sometimes it's, accident, it's easy to accidentally blow those specials up. But let's go ahead and do this now. We're going to reach in down here now that we've kind of rounded the bend. Getting rid of those licorice is important because stripes don't go easily through licorice. Look at the beautiful cascading we're getting. That's because we only have three colors on the board. I'd love to set this with a special, but it's not really lined up well. So I'm just gonna take out green because now we know color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. And now we've got this beautiful opportunity. I think I'm gonna go for a wrapped here. Oh my. Maybe a wrapped wrapped combo. I could try to do a color bomb wrapped but it's not really gonna help me reach over here. This will clear out all the way up to here, two layers worth. Plus we're gonna be taking out a color. I could also make a color bomb here, but again, things could explode before I get the chance to pair it with that blue. So I think this is the best way to go. And now I have to get a whole bunch of stripes or stripe draft combos over this way. Let's keep working on that. Well, now I've got some more color bombs. What if I can set color bombs up with stripes? I think stripes are the best option on this board because we have to reach all the way into this corner and this corner is insulated by other uh, frosting, but the stripes can get through now that licorice is not in the way. Uh, gonna go for more stripes got to try to bring those stripes down a bit further, but at least we're getting close in here. Okay, I've got a stripe here. I think I'm going to go straight over to this edge. Ooh, a wrapped candy in where I need to have wrapped candy is good. Now that I've got things opened, getting wrapped candy is even better. Okay, so I'm going to situate this wrapped candy over here. And then instead of just setting this off, I'm going to go ahead and take out all blue. It's going to have more impact. It'll have more opportunity for cascading. I still don't think I'm going to make it. This ended up being very thick, but that'll give me a better chance than just matching those together. Okay, so seven jelly away, still covered, but we know now the strategy of kind of wending around here. Maybe if I had been able to make a few more things in the beginning that struck 
over to the right and downward, I wouldn't have so thick a problem here. Or of course, if I can get more color bomb stripe combos, I'll work on those. I'm gonna pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share. Okay, so now seems like a good time to stop and talk about things. This is precarious. I want this matched with this. It would help immensely. Don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. If I do this, I take out a double layer here, but I end up with one turn left and two color bombs, and I don't know if I could make the best use of it. If I do this, it takes out the orange, it takes out the blue. I might have a lot of green stacking up, but I don't think that'll wor worry me because there's no green over here. So I think I'm going to go for this and hope that nothing blows it up. Okay, nothing blew it up. There. So I got what I wanted. It was scary there at the end. But that was my second try. Got it done. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye.